Hi everybody. My name is Sade of Twiggy and Chic for those of you guys who do not know. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. So I get asked a lot how to style fur coats. So today's video, I'm going to show you six, yes, six different ways that you can bring out your baddest furs and wear them casually for a more everyday look. Stay tuned. This video is for you. So I'm a person that does not um, organize their closet according to seasons. I wear mostly any of my clothes year round. My furs, I don't wait until a specific time to wear them. If it's less than, I would say if it's at least 60 degrees or less, I'm bringing it out. So this first look is featuring my faux fur that I bought from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx the end of I believe it was like last fall um in shopping for an item that you want off season or at the end of the season honestly I feel like it's the best time to get an item because they're more heavily discounted this jacket I'm wearing it as a dress and I paired it with just like some basics underneath it um so whether it's just like a bodysuit or or a jumpsuit or even just like some leggings and shirt or tube top it doesn't really matter because no one's going to see the ensemble underneath the focal point is going to be the jacket so um grab your favorite faux fur mine just happens to be a printed one and it's thick but it's not too thick and then you just pair it with like your favorite belt since this jacket is black and white i decided to add a contrast with a pop of color so i chose a red statement belt um that i just put around it and then lifted the collar up and kind of just have it hung over the shoulder you don't have to do that and that's my jacket dress if you didn't want to wear it off the shoulder you could also just kind of like leave it open um and then just pair like a nice statement necklace with it as well and that would still give like a dramatic look and then just pair it with some um cute heels and that's look number one So the second look works exceptionally well if you're wearing a mid-length fur coat. Ties everything in together without it looking too like overly done or without it looking like you're being swallowed or lost in the jacket. One of my favorite ways to wear a fur coat is with basics. So these are things that you already have around your house let the jacket speak for the entire outfit as long as you have a banging jacket it really doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath people are gonna stop and take a look at your outfit because of the jacket i paired this next look with just a t-shirt and some biker shorts preferably one that would make a statement but if not just a solid color um knee-high or thigh-high boots and then that way it takes the focus off of your outfit because even if you are just wearing a basic t-shirt or a band t-shirt your jacket and your shoes will scream louder than anything else that you're wearing so again this is definitely one of my favorite pieces because it's so it's so basic basic but glam So if you have a long fur coat, then I like to kind of play or use the second look that we use, but add to it. 
So you're still going to be using something basic that you own, such as a hoodie or even a sweatshirt. Um, if it's oversized, the better, because um, then it looks almost as if it's a dress that you're wearing. Again, pair it with some boots. Because the jacket is longer, you could probably get away with doing like ankle boots, but if you wanted to do thigh high or knee high boots, that works just as well. To make the outfit look even more relaxed, I paired the hoodie with some shades and a baseball cap so it doesn't look overly done. It looks like I'm just running errands and my hair isn't done so I'm just going to throw on a hat and then just in case I run into anyone, I'm just going to throw on this fur that I just had laying around and that's your look. This next jacket, I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites because it just exudes 70s to me, but it has just so much character to it from the deep plum color of it to the curly hairs that are on it. Um, I just envision myself like anytime I wear it that I'm being transported back to the 70s and I'm just some badass Cleopatra Jones, a music festival, seeing rock stars and people like Jimi Hendrix play. Um, but this jacket, again, because it's long, you can just wear it with some jeans and a simple t-shirt or bodysuit and just let the jacket speak for itself. I don't see too many like recreations of it. This is definitely gonna be something that you find um, secondhand, whether it's thrifted or vintage. This jacket also looks really cool with some statement heels. I wouldn't do a whole lot of like accessories or a hat just because the jacket itself is so busy but um you know that's a personal choice or preference the shearling motorcycle jacket this is another one of my favorites I feel like I'm going to be saying this for every piece that I'm going to show you because just about everything I own in my closet is secondhand. So it's like going on a treasure hunt um, and each time you go, you find something different and unique and it just gets me so excited thinking about like where the jacket came from with this person life was like that um wore the jacket why on earth would they give up certain pieces but enough of me rambling um so i bought mine oversized maybe two sizes bigger it's about a large and i wear a small and that's so i have enough space to like live in my jacket where it's almost like like a snuggie or like a hug like it just wraps around you and you can literally layer as many layers as you want to underneath it because of how much room you have in it. I feel like the bigger the better it looks. Um, so with this jacket it looks really cool with like um, an edgier look just because of the motorcycle design make you feel a little bit more badass. So I like to pair this with like combat boots maybe even some sneakers a hat of course so maybe like a beanie or a bucket hat and then um sweatshirts and shorts or you could even do like jeans and a like t-shirt or even like a, a two-piece lounge set and again because you're you have such a statement coat it's literally gonna speak for you Now, if you have a short fur jacket, this one can be a little bit tricky where it may even be like intimidating to some on like how to style. They may think that, 
um, because of the short fur. Um, it may even have three quarter sleeves because that's common with shorter coats. Oh, how the heck am I gonna style this? What would I even wear it with? It would probably pair what, better with a dress, which is correct. But the way I styled it was just with some jeans and a white beater. You could even do like a bodysuit. Um, preferably something that is short sleeve unless maybe it has like a, a cute little print or something that can pop out. Anything long sleeve is going to show so that's the only deal with that. If you paired like a statement shoe with it like a boot like I did in this look then this would even be cute to wear to maybe like a brunch or hanging out with your girls. Let me know which look is your favorite, um, which style you're gonna try, or if you have already tried, let me know how that's worked. And make sure to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.